Um, today I will be speaking on being born again. Being born again. You know, the same way we are naturally born sinners and sinful, you know. And then, um, you know, the same way we are naturally born sinners and sinful habit grows in us without being, you know, taught. You know, there are some things we do that are sinful that we were not taught. We just discover we have the ability to do them. For instance, you know, we lie. People lie and they can somehow, they cannot trace anybody who taught them how to lie. But they develop that natural ability to lie in their, in their attempt to defend themselves. They, and, you know, they discover they are now expert in lying. Those were natural abilities that we, we got from birth because we were born sinners. Now, just the same way those inbuilt sinful habits grows in us and with us. You know, it's the same way godly habits will grow in us naturally when we become born again. Now, the first birth is a birth into sin, into Adamic nature, where the, the sinful habit grows with you naturally. But the second birth is a birth into Christ into an environment, into a new reality in Christ where godly virtues grows in you and flows out of you naturally. A man that is not born again will sin willingly. It will be easy for him to sin because he is not born again. But a man that is born again will find it hard to sin. It will become hard to sin. Because the easiest thing for him to do will be the will of God. So, the same way we naturally learn how to sin, we naturally know how to sin without being taught, is the same way we will naturally learn to please God, naturally love God when we become born again. So, the first bit is... A bet into the flesh where the Adamic nature gains prominence. But the second bet is a bet into Christ where the nature of God gains prominence. Now, the first bet brings you under the dominion of sin or Adamic nature, while the second bet brings you under the leadership of Christ. I hope you know that the first bet is biological. And, and the second bet is being born again. That's why everyone is expected to be born twice. If you are born twice, you die once. Meaning that you will not suffer eternal condemnation. But if you are born once, you have to die twice. Now that second death is showing that you, you are likely to miss an opportunity to reign with Christ in eternity. So, if you, are, if you have been born, and yet you have not been reborn, you need to begin to, you know, see a need for a rebirth. It's not enough to be born, you need to be reborn. It's not enough to be given birth to, you need to experience a rebirth. It is that rebirth that is called being born again. The point where we naturally, you know, when you when you become born again, you, you get to that point where you naturally live out kingdom lifestyles and principles. Now, the reverse of the first birth is the second birth. You see a man living in sin, finding it so simple to, to lie, to sin, to do a lot of ungodly things. The reason is because such a person have only experienced the first bet. Are you there? So, for a man to change and begin to do the will of God, he will need to experience the second bet. The scripture says, except a man be born again. Let's check, let's check the scripture to, to be able to buttress this point. Um, let's check the scriptures um, in the book of John chapter 3 verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Can you see that? 
until you are born again, until you experience that rebirth that brings into you the nature of Christ, the kingdom of God cannot be visible to you. Now, the kingdom of God here is referring to the will of God. No man comes into the will of the Father without first coming into the second birth, which is being born again. John 3 verse 7, it says, Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Can you see that? So Jesus was telling the people that there is no need to be surprised. There is no need to be surprised about being born again because it is what you need to experience if you want to have the fullness of God. So if you are still getting surprised, you know because of the need to be born again it means that you are yet to be born again it means that you 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 know you are still living under the dominion of sin those who are still under the dominion of sin they they, they find it so difficult to understand in the the need to be born again so when you say you need to be born again, they begin to marvel. They begin to get surprised. What again do I need to do? That, that was why the, 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 the man said, he said, will I go back into the womb of my mother and expect her to give birth to me again? Can you see that? That's the definition of a carnal man. A carnal man defines spiritual things in a carnal way because his vision is defective. Now, Acts chapter 6, verse 11, and the suborned and the suborned men which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses. Okay, okay, now let's check first Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. Can you see that? but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abide forever. So it means the first birth, which is biological, is corruptible. Are you there? The first birth, which is biological, is corruptible. But the second birth, which is being born again, is incorruptible. So the first birth brings you into this world, but the second birth brings you into the kingdom. Are you there? The first birth brings you into sin. The second birth brings you into Christ. The first birth exposes you to the to the realities of you know sinfulness and ungodliness. But the second birth exposes you to the realities of God. The first birth clothes you with the nature of sin, which is the Adamic nature, but the second birth clothes you with the nature of Christ, which is, you know, the, the nature of righteousness. And it says, being born not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. I pray the Lord helps us and gives us more understanding and insight in the name of Jesus.